dream imbued arrows are expensive. And if you're trying to save gold, trying to save up for anything, it's gonna make it hard to do if you're burning through two gold per 200 of these arrows. I have suggestions for exactly how we can avoid this cost, and I'm gonna order them based on the sweatiness. I'm gonna start with the least sweaty option to the most sweaty or the most time consuming slash highest effort. Just in case anybody doesn't know, you can get your best in slot arrows from the Dream Warden's quartermasters, and I'm gonna link them all in the description for the various locations. Depending on if you're a horde or alliance, there's gonna be one that's closest to you. All these are gonna sell items based on your reputation. Now, to get the Dream Imbued arrows, we are gonna need to be at the friendly rank. If you've been leveling at all using the Nightmare Incursion strategy, you're gonna probably have friendly. So you can head on over there and be able to buy these. The cost is gonna be 200 Mithril Gyro Shot bullets, and these are gonna be sold by engineers. Either you can buy it directly from them or you can buy it on the auction house. And for me, more than two gold a stack to be able to buy these. Going into our first strategy, let's talk about exactly what we're gonna get with the Dream Imbued arrows. First of all, last phase, we were using the Jagged Arrows at 13 DPS added to our attack using this ammunition. And then Dream Imbued arrows are gonna have 15 damage added to our attack, making for a difference of two DPS. So just starting off, just don't buy it. You can just go ahead and get the Jagged Arrows instead, lose out on the two DPS. When you're doing this much damage, two DPS is not gonna make or break the encounter. You're still gonna clear it. You're still gonna be performing well. Also, you can choose to do a melee spec instead. And of course, melee can definitely just buy the Jagged Arrows because you're not gonna be doing that many ranged attacks outside of as you approach the enemies, avoid raid mechanics, weave in a couple ranged shots. But for the most part, you're, you're not gonna be needing these. Added to that, BM is performing really well damage-wise. Every raid is going to want a Marksman Hunter. And if you're a Marksman Hunter, having the extra having the higher damage ammunition is really going to add up because a lot of your damage is coming from you instead of your pet bm gets away with using the lower rank a little bit better because most of our damage is coming from our pet and that's just more guaranteed damage instead of scaling it based off what the DPS of our weapon or ammunition is. All right, let's talk about the little bit more sweaty option. So the way that professions work in Classic WoW is that you're gonna have a scaling amount of levels required to be able to train the next rank of this profession. And yes, there is a skill rank, but there's also a level requirement as well. And for the recipe for the Mithril Gyro Shot is gonna be rank 245 over here. So you have to get to rank 245, which means you have to get the artisan level, the upgrade you can get starting at 200. And for that, you're going to need to get to level 35, which is not that bad, especially if you're talking about leveling with nightmare incursions, the discoverer's delight buff and other various strategies to get you up to max as fast as possible. So you can easily level an alt up to level 35 and be able to level up your engineering to be able to use your own materials for this. I'm gonna link in the description a power leveling document that shows exactly all the items you would need to be able to level your profession up, level your engineering all the way up. Now this is gonna scale you all the way to max now, level. A big hunk of the cost is gonna be the gathering profession. Even if you are using engineering, you probably still do wanna have a gathering profession on an alt as well to be able to get you the mithril bars. On my server, the mithril bars themselves are still running for a gold per piece. You're gonna need two mithril bars and two blasting powers Powder to be able to make this on your engineering alt. And those are really your best options. Really, ammunition this phase is just expensive. You can check your auction house and see if it's a reasonable price for you. But for me, two gold for every 200 arrows that I spend is gonna be just way too much. And it's really gonna add up over time. I'm gonna be playing a melee spec for the most part, but then when I do bounce to a ranged spec, personally, I'm just gonna use the jagged arrows until the price becomes a little bit more reasonable. But if you're really interested in getting the extra 2 d DPS from your ammunition, it would save you so much money just to be able to farm these out yourself. Sorry, hunters, I wish our ammunition situation was a little bit better. Now, if you are just gonna be buying it off the auction house, go ahead and take a look at the description. I'm gonna link a playlist to some gold guides as I make them in the description. Take a look there. Also, too, if you're still looking for runes, take a look in the description. I'm gonna link a playlist for all the runes. All right, everyone, if the video did help you out today, please heroic strike that like button. If you wanna stay tuned for more WoW content in the future, please bash the subscribe. I appreciate your time and I'll see you in the next one. Bye, everyone.